Hi, hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be testing the integration between Zoho Sales IQ and WhatsApp API. Zoho Sales IQ is an amazing software where you can actually track your visitors by their IP address. If there's a visitor who's come to your website, whether he's your first time visitor or it's the 10th time that particular visitor is interacting in your website, how many times they've spoken, what are the conversations? So many things can be tracked. This is a must, must have chatbot is what I can say. You can have operators chatting from behind the screen and you can also have the bots that can be enabled. It's called basically called a Zobot and it can be enabled where usual questions that customers are asking, you can actually have some preset stuff. This is exactly the best thing that I love about Zoho Sales IQ is you can know like how many people have been on which page, how many people have been on your website for more than 30 seconds, one minute, all of that. Must, must, must use tool, I must say. Right, now, Zoho Sales IQ was earlier not actually working with uh, other platforms like Facebook Messenger or Instagram or especially WhatsApp API. That's gonna be the new thing, right? People are talking about conversa conversational commerce. Now, Zoho has now released this WhatsApp integration, like you can see Messenger, Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp is there. And in this particular video, I'm actually gonna test out how you can configure this. So we'll go to the settings, click on this particular button and then click on add account, configure a WhatsApp channel and just try to integrate your Facebook account with Zoho. Go next, you got a couple of I have a couple of businesses that are set. I want to activate this bot for this particular account, GFI Growth Foundation International account. And I'm just going to go ahead give and give the WhatsApp business account name. Basically, your legal com company's legal name is what you can actually use it for your WhatsApp account as well. And after having a lot of customer conversation, you can actually apply for that verified tick and all that stuff. Okay, but for now, just get started with this and whenever you're getting started, remember, use a separate number to make it as a WhatsApp API because once you make it as a WhatsApp API, you cannot reverse it back. I'll show you. So it's going to ask for WhatsApp business display name. Just go ahead and give your company name. I'm just giving mine. We run Growth Foundation International and that's related to business coaching. We help entrepreneurs to scale up, grow, use different kind of softwares and you know build systems on finance, HR, marketing, all of that. So I'm just gonna fill in my business description over here. Business forum, entrepreneur learning, entrepreneur community, e-learning. Right, so I'm just gonna fill all these over here and then I would probably go ahead to continue to the next step let me just try to add some more description for my business. Yeah, so now what is that number that you're going to be using? Remember the number that you're going to be integrating with WhatsApp. The WhatsApp app is different. WhatsApp for business. The WhatsApp B app is different and WhatsApp API is different. So when you're trying to add a new number, that number should not be working on any other WhatsApp app such as WhatsApp, normal WhatsApp mobile app or the WhatsApp business mobile app. It should be a separate number. So if you already have WhatsApp in a particular number, try to delete the WhatsApp account from that and then try to activate it. I am right now going to activate an old number that I have, which is not at all on WhatsApp. So it's gonna ask me for a six digit verified code because it's an old number, I didn't get that. So I'm just trying to do a voice thing. Okay, so getting the call now and I'm going to enter all the verification codes. Great. So as a startup, startup, I'm just getting like 50 business initiated conversations and uh, unlimited customer initiated conversation up to two phone numbers I can use. And Zoho is not charging you anything for this because it's a value addition. And you basically pay to WhatsApp per messages. That is different. You maybe go to WhatsApp page and find out how much they charge per message that is coming in and going out and all that stuff. The integration did not work for me. Maybe because I tried in Safari. I'm going to come back to Google Chrome. I'm going to do this all over again in Google Chrome. Just select the required 
details go ahead yeah so it said set up so now in my google chrome it's working so i've selected that particular number given okay great let me try to reload this this is the first time i'm doing it okay so i'm also figuring out how this is working that's great now it's configured wow this is brilliant now my normal number has just become a whatsapp api number api means i can reply to a customer via third party software i don't have to use whatsapp app to reply a bot or a third party software can be used but in this case we are using zoho sales iq and the best part is you can actually integrate this with your crm and all that so this credit is what you'll basically buy from uh, facebook as of now with all the free credits that i have i'm just trying to go ahead and activate the account just checking and verifying all the numbers are right and the company name and everything is right great so whatsapp is activated and i can set the preferences like when somebody sends a message in 15 minutes the window should be closed or 24 hours the window should be closed all that i can set it up okay great so this is done and let's just try to do some hands on experiment so when you're using zoho sales iq actually you can see all your website visitors i can see my visitors from different places different countries somebody from chennai somebody from uh, us and you know their ip address how many times they came which page they checked all of that it comes in very handy this is like real time analytics kind of a thing so somebody from uk all of that now when the so far these visitors were like somebody from abu dhabi so for, so far these visitors were able to initiate chat on the chatbot in my website now that they can also initiate the chats or talk to us via whatsapp as well this is so cool right yes absolutely so let's go ahead and do some testing i'm going to this is the whatsapp number i have activated from another company's number i'm sending a hi message okay so i'm sending a hi message let's see what happens so a customer has initiated a conversation via whatsapp which is the whatsapp api number this number has been integrated with zoho sales iq now and let me just go back to the other tab so that we can test how this is working yeah wow it's actually ringing i'm actually getting a ringing caller tone kind of a sound in my computer or desktop and i can actually click on pick up once i click on pick up here i am using zoho sales iq and obviously this conversation is also getting synced to zoho crm and you can see that hi has come here so this is what i said i cannot use the actual whatsapp app to send a message or reply it's a bot or it's a it's a software now multiple operators can work here i can activate a bot lots of things can be done so i have actually sent hello how can we help you from the bot software basically in this case it is zoho sales iq as you can see the rep, the customer has got a reply this is cool isn't it because in chatbot you only have the api you can actually have all the canned messages and all that stuff you can make lot of templates and keep in the normal chat you can only have the ip ip address and you need to ask for the customer's phone number but with whatsapp customer's phone number is already here so when the customer says send payment link you can actually trigger the automatic reply but in this case i'm just showing you okay here is the link send it so conversational commerce closing the deals closing the inquiries this is not only for sales this can also be used for post sales giving a wow class world class customer experience just imagine the feel that your customers would have like when after purchasing your product or service if they can just solve all their problems via chat and if it's not solved it is also going to be escalated to you wonderful power isn't it you can actually link in link your instagram to it telegram to it you can integrate all of these channels and still use zoho sales iq for this this i'm really happy and impressed by zoho sales iq all the best